first, I, I, uh, I, want, I want to send our condolences to the families of the two individuals that, were, uh, that died last night. Yesterday at approximately 10.41, uh, officers responded to the report of a man laying in the roadway at Gum Branch Road and DeWitt Street. Carl Joseph Esther, 72, of Gum Branch Road, was pronounced dead at the scene. A brief time later, officers also located a second victim in the roadway at Gum Branch and Nottingham Road. Kaylin Kirtland, 17, of Gum Branch Road, was found unresponsive and pronounced dead. Both victims su sustained significant physical injuries. At this time, we think it's blunt trauma. Uh, does not appear to be any gunshot wounds or stab wounds. If anyone saw anything or knows anything about, about these incidents, please call us. But right now, we don't believe that there's a danger to the community. We have a person in custody um, in this investigation, and he's at, at, the, at Onslow Memorial Hospital at this time. We're working with the district attorney, been in contact with uh, Ernie Lee since last night. Uh, no formal charges have been filed at this time, but we're working with the district attorney um, at, at this time. Anybody in that time frame from 10.30 to 11 o'clock in that Gum Branch Road, if they saw anything at all, any people, anything at all, please give us a please contact us as soon as possible. You know, we have every investigator we have is out there right now uh, collecting evidence, processing evidence, so it's, it's going to be an exhaustive process for us. Again, we have, we have a person in custody, but we're going to continue to continue this investigation. So obviously we'll add some, uh, we'll add uh, $2,000 to, um, to the current uh, Crime Stoppers. Right. Uh, if anyone has any information that we can use, um, please contact us as soon as possible. And so, yes. so in addition to the $2,500 that Crime Stoppers normally gives, uh, the police department will add another $2,000 on that. I think that uh, I think one of the things that we that we need to do is we need to focus on on the causes of those homicides. You know, and and I think that. Preventing homicides is a community uh, is a community affair. In fact, tomorrow night at the council, we'll be I'll be discussing uh, at a workshop um, mental illness how it relates to homicides. I'm not saying that it may, that it it it's in this case, but I will be talking about the to the council about that because of issues that we're having to deal with in mental Ill illness. Now, last month. We talked about domestic violence and what we need to do with domestic violence. So when you talk about violence, I think it's very important that we start looking at those underlying causes. Domestic violence, the lack of mental health services in our community, those kinds of things that we need to really focus on in order to prevent violent, violent acts from occurring.